All right, so getting right into it, our bodice back has two yokes and we are working on the yoke that is on the right side of the back bodice. What we're going to do is we're going to sew our front bodice shoulder to our outer yoke shoulder. We are not sewing the facing shoulder to the outer yoke shoulder, we're sewing the bodice shoulder to the outer yoke shoulder. Once we've gone ahead and pinned and sewed our shoulders together, then we're going to pin and sew the collar to the neck, matching collar notches to shoulder seams and the collar ends to the neck notches of the um, bodice. So we're going to make sure that we're interface side down for the collar and for this part we're just basting the collar in place. You can just sew the collar in place but you're going to baste using a um, one quarter inch seam allowance. What you're not going to do is you're not going to sew the collar ends to the facing notch you're going to sew the collar ends to the bodice neck notch and that's the first notch that you should hit when you sew the collar to the neck or pin the collar to the neck So here I have my collar nice and basted to the neck of my garment. And so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the lower back bodice out of the way so we can bring out the inner yoke and then attach it to the front facing pieces at the shoulders. And so we're just gonna roll it out of the way making a nice little small burrito. And then once we pull that up, then our inner yoke is revealed right under it. We pull it out from under and then we bring it over the top. Now what I'm doing here is I'm going to clip into my neck just because my collar was a little stiff. You don't have to do this at this step because we'll be clipping later on. But if you want a little more stretch or a little more ease in your neck to relieve some more tension, then you can go ahead and clip here um, just for a little extra relieving of tension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin and sew the shoulders of the inner yoke to the shoulders of the facing here. And we're of course going to make sure that the outer edge of our facing is folded in one quarter inch over so that we have a clean finish once we're finished. But we're going to go ahead and sew those shoulders together and then come back.
once we've sewn those shoulders together, we're gonna go ahead and get everything prepared so that we can sew everything together in one fell swoop. So we're going to match our facing notches to our neck notches of the bodice, which are at the ends of our collar there that matched up. So we're going to match those first. And once, once you've matched the notches of the bodice to the facing, then you're gonna go ahead and match the shoulder seams from top to bottom. And then once you've matched the shoulder seams, then everything else should fall into place and align easily for you to pin the rest of the collar and the neck together. You wanna make sure as you're pinning to keep the collar out of the way so that it's not caught when you sew over this neckline so it's not caught between when you pull it out it's not sticking on the inside so make sure to keep your collar out of the way once you're pinning and once you're done pinning then we're gonna go ahead and sew the full neckline with a half inch seam allowance or 1.3 centimeters So because we have a lot of tension built up and a lot of curves here and we want to make sure our collar sits around our neck nicely, then we're going to go ahead and clip into those curves um, everywhere we feel that there may be tension along the neckline. And you're not going to clip into your stitching, but you're going to clip along the curves um, right above your stitching to relieve any tension and make it easier. You can choose to clip the corners. Um, of where your facing and your bodice meet. I chose not to do that with this fabric because it is very, very lightweight and I didn't have any issues um, with there being any puckering and I knew that wouldn't be a problem. Once you've clipped everything in the neckline, you can go ahead and pull your garment out from one end of your burrito. And we'll just take a look and admire our nice burrito here. But once you've done that, then you can go ahead and pull your garment out from one end of the burrito. And it should, if you've done everything correctly, and you may have to maneuver and, and wriggle it a little bit because um, it might be a little tight. But um, personally, I don't go gentle here because all of my seams are secure. You can just go ahead and just pull it out, um, making sure that all the pieces are nice and orderly, nothing's caught on the inside, and you should have a nice clean finish once you pull it out. Once you've pulled everything out, you can go ahead and poke out those corners for the bodice and the facing where they meet. Um, and if you think that they need to be clipped, you can go ahead and tuck it under and go back and clip them. Um, but yeah, just give everything a nice press and you have completed your burrito. The last step here for some clarification to make sure the shoulder seams 
on the wrong side of the fabric sit nicely and we're going to go ahead and pin them in place from the outside so that you can stitch in the ditch and make sure it sits in place underneath you shouldn't see these stitches they'll be invisible but they'll result in a nice clean finish at the shoulder seams um, for the inside of the garment and then you can move on to the next step for your agave Thank you. 